Hello, hi. This week is an exciting week in Sensational Eater. And that's because me and my, my clients, my private clients, and all of them are on the Sensational Eater program and have one-to-one -one coaching with me. We're all doing, all. when I say all, some people who would like to are doing a challenge this month. I'm opening the first week up to you guys to join us. What we're doing is we're trying to learn how to eat previously off-limits foods, as I like to call them, POLFs. Do you like that acronym? Um, <laughs> previously off-limits foods with authority, with consciousness. Instead of doing what we've always done, which is tell us as we won't eat them, I won't eat them, I won't eat them, and then going face down in them, and then feeling terrible and attributing a lot of power to the food. Then saying to the, like, oh, it's that food, I, I just can't have it around, I just can't be around that food. Instead, we're going to go through a process, and I'm going to talk you through day by day what to do to try to experiment with gaining back your sense of self-responsibility around those foods and to try and eat them like a quote-unquote normal person, right? To try and eat them with calm, with awareness and with decisiveness and crucially with the ability to stop around them. Now, there's no magic wand here. Um, I warn you, this is going to be trial and error, right? So come on board and I'm going to talk you through exactly what we're going to do day by day. Now, I have so many previously off-limits foods, guys. Um, I have... Did I just call you guys? Is that like guys and gals mixed together or something? What is it? Guys. <laughs> All right. I have things like bread and butter. I have things like white pasta. I have things like um, chocolate, biscuits, cake. Um, I have foods that I often go against my own intention to eat in a measured way. For example, there are foods like nuts and... Um, crackers and cheese which I love and I don't consider them to be off-limits food although I have sometimes um you know tried to just like go oh that's it I'll just be cheese free I just can't handle the cheese um but and yeah that didn't work and yeah I ended up a binge eater um after my spell of veganism now, I'm not saying that um, all vegans have that propensity. I'm just saying that, you know, in my case, the veganism was a bit of a cover for being able to kind of publicly restrict a food, which I was embarrassed to say. I, I just felt out of control around. So, you know, what you choose to be your previously off-limit food, your pulp, could be anything. could be toast. Some of us just go ham on the toast and jam. And that even rhymed, right? So if you're in, put in the comments what your previously off-limit food would be. It could be just something that you found yourself misbehaving around in the last couple of days um, that you would like to take under your wing and say, you know, in my future, I may want to eat this food, but I don't want to eat it like... Um, it's going to be taken away from me tomorrow. I want to eat it like I'm in control. Okay, so get on there. Tell me what it is. What are you going to choose?